Although we got the chalet video for the Wholesome Direct event, I think 2021 felt like the year of the Paramaker. Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Cher and I'm excited to talk about Paralives today. Let's take a look at the dev chat from December the 3rd, 2021. I want to remind everyone that Paralives is still in early development. That means that elements can change, be improved, or removed before the game is actually released. Now, let's get to the good good. To start off, we're going to go through Paramaker related questions, answers, and ideas. There are still lots of content and features that need to be added to the Paramaker. In addition, there are bugs that need to be fixed before they can say Pam is complete. Even though it might have looked more or less finished in the Paramaker overview video, there's still work that needs to get done. I've seen many comments about the outlines on the paras, so it makes sense that people are wondering if those outlines or drawn details will be adjustable. Like, will there be an opacity slider for the outlines and shading? Will there be an opacity slider for all of the paras and the environment's drawn details and outlines? As of right now, you can select the color for the detail lines and highlights in the skin tone selection tool but not the opacity of it. There probably won't be a global slider for all of the lines for the environment and such, since it's not all the same material or shader. Talking about those drawn details, there are details around their eyes and noses. To change the appearance of these lines, you'll need to change how their nose looks. If you select a nose preset, it changes these lines. The devs have yet to run a range of ages through Pam. This is because at this point they've been focused on creating characters. Despite wanting to see every single life stage, I'm totally happy that they've been focusing on character development. I'm interested in their characters and I want to learn more about them as well as meet more of them. As of right now, the fat and muscle sliders are for the overall character, like for their whole body. Although I do agree that it would be interesting to have it so that there are fat and muscle sliders for each portion of the body. Who could forget Maggie's adorable reaction to her mix match socks? I personally love that video so very much. It's a cool idea to imagine how different para folk would react to various different things. Like if your para hates the color pink, but you dress them up in a hot pink onesie. Like how would they react to that? What would they do? It's good to note that these reactions aren't a confirmed feature. And if they are confirmed, I feel like there should be an option to disable them. Nevertheless, it's kind of cool to think about that and how the personalities can actually affect their reactions. Next, there were a few general questions about the game. I can't imagine having to come up with an art style or even figure out what direction I would take a project like this. There are many different beautiful art styles out there. How would you know when you found the one? Of course, you start off with an idea. In this case, it was Alex who had that vision. Then, as time goes by, that vision gets tweaked every so often. Whether it's because of team members or because of circumstances, it'll change over time for sure. I love that they're using Studio Ghibli as inspiration. You can totally see that. Spending time to find inspiration, references, and creating a mood board, if you want to call it that, is always a fun time when you're working on a creative project with others or even by yourself. Long story short, discovering the vibe for your creative project is a process. There's been a few questions about the lighting in the game and if it'll change over time. The shadows aren't as dark, making the paras look kind of flat. However, this flatter look will make it so that the lighting isn't as complicated in the end. Even so, that doesn't mean the lighting won't change. There are tests to be done, glob damn it. That means the lighting might end up changing. People really want to know if they'll be able to mod the game to replace the art style. Sort of like the Alpha CC for The Sims 4. As of right now, you'll be able to replace textures, shaders, and the parameters for these shaders to get different renders for objects and characters. Although that's not really changing the whole art style, now is it? In real life, you could technically make money off of any hobby or any skill. Love to crochet? Well, you could start a business selling crocheted bags if you wanted to. Enjoy painting? You could sell your artwork if you wanted to, you know? Embracing this sort of mindset in Paralives would be interesting. It could also lead the way for some in-depth gameplay. In my opinion, I think that players should be able to make money off of certain skills, but maybe not all of them. What do you think about this? There we have it, folks. Another Wednesday and another dev chat. Before we go, you gotta see this bug.
Don't forget to check out the description box for the links to Paralives' social media accounts, website, and Patreon. If you want to join in on these dev chats, please consider becoming a patron. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe for future dev chats. Also, smack that notification bell if you want to get notifications about new videos as soon as I post them. All of that really means so much to me and truly helps me out. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye!